Morning guys, so uh, today I wanted to share a little bit about charging and how I go about charging and which cables I have and what the different problems are. So let's have a look at my whole setup here. So there's quite a bit of charging cables and it's not all of them. Um, so yeah, first of all we got the Manicus Type 2 charger which is mandatory uh, definitely. Then next to that you have the uh, Manicus Shuko. So right here we have the, uh, the Shuko plug to uh, Type 2 which is an alternative for the uh, Tesla uh, UMC, the Universal Mobile Connector. Because the UMC in uh, the Belgian version of the UMC sometimes has problems with different uh, types of networks where there's no neuter uh, for example. So that could be that could be a problem, and this one um, actually solves that problem uh, for the most part. Right. So if you go to Norway, this one should be fine. If you go to the Arden, where you also have that problem, uh, that one works also. So that's a backup cable for me. Um, for the UMC, uh, I have like different uh, connectors. So first of all, you have the uh, Shuko connector. Right. You have the uh, red plug adapter, three phase uh, charging. Uh, you got the blue connector, single phase, 32 amp charging. Um, and then I have this little fellow here, um, which is a conversion from a pen ground connection to uh, a ground connection with connectors on the side. This allows you to reverse the cable because sometimes um, Tesla also have problem with the uh, cable being or the the line wire uh, as they call it the red wire being on the wrong side so let me show you an example All right so here I have a plug right normally right, if you follow the Belgian law then this cable the left cable or the right cable if you hook it up right is the red one that one is the line wire and this one would be the neuter um, so the blue cable um, so sometimes they are switched and then the cable or the UMC doesn't work and that's a problem um, so by using this little device I can switch the UMC uh, turn it around and then it works so uh, this is a problem for example in France right where you need to uh, turn around the two wires uh, in Belgium usually if you have a skilled electrician it's usually always the same um, if you look at it from the back when you uh, connect the, uh, the the power socket it's right or brown with the R for right uh, uh, red or brown for right and uh, blue with the L for left uh, if you connect it um, anyway I'll talk about the problems there uh, in, in just a minute Extension cable for the red plug adapter right, So that's about 10 meters there plus 7 meters for the UMC. So that's 17 uh, Meters right there and then about 2 meters of Shuko to red plug so I can actually use the Shuko with the red plug extension uh, to get to uh, the UMC so that's about 20 meters that I can cover uh, between the plug and uh, the uh, the car uh, if you do that, make sure that uh, your cable is thick enough, right? So that's a uh, 3G, that, that one is actually a 5G 2.5, that one is a 3G 2.5, so the wires need to be thick enough to, um, to allow you to, to uh, counter the heat that is going through it. That one also tricks the UMC into thinking that it can take 16 amp from a socket. Um, you might think, well, regular, uh, like this one and regular UMC, the Manicus and the UMC, they can do like 13 amps uh, from a socket. Uh, that one allows it to take 16 amps from a socket. Um, it's like 15% more, so that's, that's quite a bit. But I have to say, only do this if you know exactly how the socket is secured, uh, what type of fuse is in there, what else is on that circuit so you don't fry anything and you don't ruin your electrical installation. 
that one is a converter from 32 to 16 amp so if you look at this one let me take this one here so if you look at this one and you compare it to let me just put it here you compare it to that one all right that is uh quite a difference right so the 32 amp which you find in harbors uh and such um that one uh does not fit the umc um so i made a conversion from 32 amp to 16 amp and then i can hook it up to the umc as well um that one is a spare cable that i uh, have lying around so that's a 3g 2.5 .2 uh, and i'll be using that to make an extension cord for the manicus uh, one because now the manicus one if i need to use that one i don't have an extension cord for that so that will be in the kit as well so yeah all in all quite a bit of charging cables but next year we're going to norway and to be sure that we can charge wherever we want um, i'm also going to buy the chatamo adapter uh, and that basically allows me to charge almost anywhere where i can uh, where i can get some power now to go through the different uh, power outputs there's a, a nice charge that a chart that a guy from the Tesla Club uh, Belgium made you can find it at teslaclub.be slash charging I believe uh, but I put a link in, in, in the video and I'll put a link uh, in, in the description as well but that one allows you to charge 3 phase 32 amp if your car can take it because the new cars the facelift cars they can only take 24 amp so if you have 32 amp the dual charger then that will give you about one practically 106 kilometers per hour of charging if you're stuck with the 24 amp that will be like 78 kilometers of charging per hour that one is 13 amp uh, shuko so that will give you about 12 kilometers of charging uh, per hour the umc well it kind of depends so you have the shuko uh, the shuko will give you 13 amps as well um, and uh, so that's 12 kilometers of charging the blue one uh, gives you single phase 32 amp charging um, so that will be around 27 kilometers per hour of charging the little adapter to turn around doesn't do anything um, the three phase red plug uh, that's allowing you to charge at 16 amps which uh, amounts to 40 uh, 54 yeah like 54 kilometers of charging per hour extension cables don't do anything to that chatamo however if you go for 50 kilowatts or uh even higher you can go to uh, 150 sometimes even more um i don't have experience with the chatamo yet so uh but it's in the chart as well um and then of course you have a type 3 cable which i don't have which you could use for france but type 2 is becoming more common in france as well but a specific type 3 cable um that one is more or less like the type 2 cable uh, again no experience with that one um, so yeah so let me explain a few things about single phase versus three phase charging all right so let's discuss a little bit about the different phases and the kilowatts so right here in Belgium we have a 230 volt system uh, that's the single phase system. So assume you got 16 amp charging. That means you got 230 times 16 is uh, actually 3.6 kilowatts. Uh, um, so if you get 13 amps, then you'll end up with 230 times 13, which is about 3 kilowatts. Um, so with the blue plug you are allowed to do 32 amps of charging on a 230 volt um, so that means you get 230 times 32 which is double of this which is 7.2 kilowatts All right. um, so that's basically for the single phase uh, system now if you look at the three phase system which is 400 volts right and you get 400 volts 
on 16 amps, uh, which is the red plug, basically, then um, the formula is a little bit more diff different. So you got uh, your 400 volts times 16 amps times the square root of 3. Um, yeah. And that will give you 11 kilowatts, more or less. So if you go for the Manicus cable and you got the dual charger, then you have 32 amps at 400 volts. That's exactly double, so that's your 22 kilowatt charger that you get right there. Uh, right now, with the new one, you only get 24 uh, amps that you can do. That's the upgraded charger. Um, so that's 400 times 24 times the square root of 3, which comes down to about 16.5 kilowatts that you have there. The connections that we have uh, are in two fashions. So there are two different types of networks for the uh, 400 volt network, which allows you also to get 230 in your house. So the first and most common one is the star network. So the transformer looks kind of like this. Right. And this is your L1, L2, L3, which is your three line wires. And this center point is your neutral. So if you go between L1, L2, you get 400 volts. If you go between L2, L3, you connect those wires, you get 400 volts. If you go between L1 and L3, you get 400 volts. Um, so that's your three phase 400 volt right there. And then you get your neuter as a fourth wire in there. Um, if you go between L1 and neutral, you get 230 volts. L2 neutral, you get 230 volts. And L3 neutral, you get your 230 volts. So why, if we go, uh, and I'm not going to go in all that detail, um, but if we calculate the power on three phase, it's the square root of three times u times i so voltage amperage and the square root of 3 that needs to be in there so this part actually comes from if we draw this um, <coughs> very quickly so this is your timeline and it's um, AC so it's alternating current so that means that we have a line going like this Right, and then these ones are turned or shifted 120 degrees. So this one is 180, this one is 360. So we need to divide it by 3. So let's see, that's here and here, more or less. So this one starts here, goes here, and then makes that sine wave, and this one goes here. So because we're not fully topped off here, that's why we get the square root of 3 uh, going in there. Um, right, so that's one network and that's the most common. So you got four wires coming in. Um, and that's L1, L2, L3 and neutral that are coming in and you're using that. Now, the second network, and that's the one you find in Norway it's also the one that you'll find in the Ardennes in, in Belgium is a triangle right so right so hop, hop, hop. so that's L1 L2 L3 there's no neutral here so that's basically the problem um, so between L1 and L2 you get 230 volts between L2 and L3 you get 230 volts between L3 and L1 
you get 230 volts. So you get three phase 230 volts without the neutral. Uh, and that's the problem because that neutral, that's important for uh, the UMC to work. And that's what gives you problems. Uh, to charge in Norway and to charge in the Ardennes, for example. Um, and, and it's just the UMC that has a problem uh, with it because um, you still get 230 volts and you can still get uh, like uh, 32 amps 32 amps uh, to flow from that. You just don't have the neutral there. Um, so that, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. But that's why I have the Manicus cable, uh, which I showed earlier, and the Manicus Shuko to uh, uh, to uh, Type 2 adapter. That one allows you to charge on this kind of network as well. So yeah, there you go. This is a little bit more information about charging and the problems with three-phase charging and why we can't charge in Norway with the UMC. So the Norwegian UMC, they they have a specific version um, that allows you to charge here uh, and I also heard from Tesla that the new cars they don't get the UMC anymore so they get the type 2 cable uh, at delivery uh, together with the uh, Manicus Shuko and that should solve the problem for most of the occasions when they need to charge so yeah thanks for watching hope you learned something new See you next time.